before this video starts, I would just like to say, please stick with this video. Um, there's going to be a lot of information um, that I'm going to present, uh, but I really think it's informative and might actually help people get a better appreciation of Atari and what they're trying to achieve. Yes, we can debate on if this is a system for 2020 or not, and yes, it seems lacking in software, but the point is, is that from beginning to end, Atari was pretty meticulous with how they were providing updates to backers like me. Very thorough. Um, there's a, a sense of pride in the Atari team, and they really were trying very hard and their best to get a console into people's hands that people are going to love. Thank you. Hi, this is Dave, the Brutally Honest Gamer, and I am doing another Atari VCS video where I am going through the facts of the system as provided by Atari through the backer updates. So everything that I'm going to show you is the, from the timeline of the Indiegogo and Atari updates for the people that back this. Uh, the purpose of the email is to show you uh, from Atari themselves what they have planned for this system um, before it is launched. Uh, in my previous video, I had pretty much proven that the item is real. It is in fact real uh, and it is in fact shipping. Uh, well, I mean, I guess fingers crossed. I mean, crazier things have happened, but uh, I'm pretty confident the item is really shipping, but here's the, here's going to be the uh, bread and butter of, of the Atari VCS. Now, I'm not going to go into any debate on whether this system should exist or not. I mean, that is not the point. The system is real. The system has been made. Whether it's relevant in 2020, even I have my doubts because of just some of the mishandling of of the game, the games, and how um, there's pretty much a lack thereof as far as original Atari content, um, other than their flashback titles that they're going to have on here. But they, these are the actual updates. Okay, so I'm going to do this into three categories. So the first category is going to be um, just concept and the the hardware um the second category is going to be the games and what it supposedly can do and then the third category is going to be production and shipping um so with that being said let's get started and i'm going to take you back so if you can see on my screen here um i've gone all the way back to the very first um update that I received, which was May 30th, 2018. All right, so then the first update that we got regarding the actual hardware was on June 27th, 2018, um, where they announced that Rob Wyatt, the architect of the original Xbox, and did some work with the PlayStation 3, was going to help do some work for the Atari VCS. Okay, so then now we have... Uh, August 29th, 2018. So here we have the first prototype that was made, um, Tari VCS 1.0, uh, working with AMD with a Bristol Ridge processor, eight gigabytes of RAM. Uh, and then of course you can see the, the board and everything. I mean, this is a very early prototype, um, but at least they're showing progress on it, which even a lot of like vaporware stuff, they don't even really get to this point of prototyping. Um, and then there's prototype controls and you know, some other stuff here. So that was the first look at at least the prototype version. All right, so then on November 22nd, 2018, we have the first announcement of the operating system um, and, its and its first form, it, it's, fun its functioning. 
Uh, so it's running, running, this is where they're saying it's running Linux, um, as well as there's some other, some other details, but there's not really any pictures. This is just, uh, uh, an article. Um, so no pictures or anything here, but again, just an update of what exactly what they're doing. A lot of tech, tech jargon in here. Um, and, and some other stuff, but that was the first mention of the operating system. Okay, so then we have an update here, uh, December 19th, 2018, where they um, they really kind of go into, into depth on the production process or in the prototyping process, because uh, there's not a final product yet. They're still putting things together. Um, but you can you can see the colors and materials um, that they're trying to use. I mean, I, I can't remember, uh, and I, I don't do the Indigo stuff very often. Uh, but like, I couldn't, re I wouldn't think like Nintendo if they're gonna make a new system, they're not gonna go into into as much detail to tell you like the actual color and make of the plastic and stuff like that um, during any step of their process. So. It, it was actually pretty cool through this whole process that I'm sharing with you, uh, how step by step from the the birth of the, of the console. So, a lot of pictures, a um, lot of schematic or at least diagrams on how the, they want things to work, uh, getting controllers ready, um, and different variations of of controllers that they're looking at. Um, and then comparing it to what that is actually pretty close to the final version. Um, so again, a pretty a pretty substantial update there. All right. So then we have we jump ahead. They did some little updates, but nothing nothing worth showing. Uh, so we're jumping to March eighteenth, twenty nineteen. Um, this is where the um, we got the update for more power coming. Um, and then there's the, they uh, announced with the, the Ryzen, it's gonna be a, a Ryzen processor uh, with Radeon Vega graphic architecture. Um, so more more information on that and more, more technical stuff. Uh, that was basically the, just the, um, the update there, not a whole lot of, well, there's no pictures or anything there, but that's just announcing that um, they actually upgraded the, the processor. Okay, now going uh, to March 29th, we have um, another little uh, article um, regarding some spe the special editions and then a closer look at what they they envision the final the final product to be. Um, again, they're ba they're just going over how the um, they want it to look modern but old at the same time, and then there is more um, more um, Ryzen talking here uh, as well. And then there's some pictures here. Um, then there's then there's also the, the diagrams with how they, they want the, the construction to be, um, which I, this idea, I believe they scrapped because it would just be too expensive to do. Dimension, so again, um, this is March 2019th, I think, or was I? No, March 29th, 2019. So things are starting to come along pretty well at this point, uh, from a from a uh, uh, technology side of it. Okay, so now April seventeenth, twenty nineteen. Um, there's a lot more information about AMD uh, Ryzen embedded R one thousand powering the Atari VCS. We can support four K sixty frames per second HDR content. Um, that users expect from a modern system. Um, there was a press release and for it, um, which I'm not going to go into, but um, some of the specs that are here, 
Uh, there wasn't a, uh, a blog entry for this one, but it was just part of the, uh, so this was a, a backer entry um, only. But again, now we're up to April 17, 2019. Um, things are looking pretty good. So now we're up to May 21st, 2019, and this is the update for the classic controller and the modern controller. Um, so kind of look at the prototyping process, um, the different versions that they had created, uh, what they pretty much settled on, uh, which should be this controller. So my backer unit, because the VCS is basically a computer, um, it's supposedly able to use like anything that would work with a computer. So I already have game pads that will work on a computer that I'm just going to use in the VCS. So I didn't need the modern controller, but the classic joystick, um, this I wanted because I think it's going to be pretty different. Um, it's going to has a rotator at the top. Um, and I just thought it was pretty cool and unique. Uh, so my backer system is coming with this thing, but it's not coming with the modern controller. And then there's just more, more specifications and, and stuff that they added. Again, I don't know how many other failed Indigo or Indiegogo, whatever it is, um, campaigns are out there how detailed they get but as you can see these these updates are extremely detailed uh and i don't think that's something that you would really see if, if it's a scam because if it's a scam man they are a hundred percent in on it and 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 going over the oh completely over the top to sell it Okay, so then June eleventh, there's a little, there's a little um, a backer update where they announced that they're going to be taking pre-orders from GameStop and Walmart. Um, so two fairly significant size retailers. Again, I don't know if any of those other the things that people are leaving in the comments of the other videos had GameStop and Walmart pre-orders and still turned out to be scams or not. But again, they're sure, I mean, Atari, it's all legitimate as far as everything that, that I, that I can, I can see. Um, I mean, this was back. So we're still within a year currently. Um, and then there's another about what Atari plans to do at E3, uh, which they were at. So then we have the post E3 update. So we're July 19th, 2019. Uh, so there's a little bit of information, um, but we're going to go here to the blog post. So again, an extreme amount of detail, more colors announced that they're going to look at doing uh, more prototype talk, some other cool stuff with potential boots, demos, more hardware AMD stuff. Um, so again, another, another, another good update. All right. Now we're taking a little bit of a jump. And going to October 8th, 2019. Uh, so now we're within a year of now and, and this update. And they are going over basically the internals of it and how they're looking to put things together. Again, lots of production pictures, lots of detail. Um, I, I, at this point in time, I don't know what more to say. Um, other than they, I mean, Atari, in my opinion, did a really good job on their updates and providing a whole bunch of detail. Um, you a little video of it getting, I don't know what it's, that's the board being made, um, the factories, some of the components. 
And then that's that update. All right, so now we're jumping ahead to December 2019. Um, another factory um, update. Um, through their engineering testing, they were able to come up with ways to make the hardware perform better. Um, lots of pictures again uh, showing construction of, of units. And again, just overall, another another well done update um, with the the team at Atari. I mean, they're they're putting stuff together. They're learning what the system can and can't do. And now we're at the point where it's getting the hardware optimized. Some more pictures, tooling. I mean, you don't see this kind of stuff with something that's a scam. All right, so now we're into 2020, uh, pre-COVID. So January 7th, uh, Atari heading to CES. Again, I'm, I'm just going to say it, that I don't know them other things that people leave comments about and turned out to be frauds and stuff. Um, if they went to E3s and CESs, I don't know. Uh, but Atari was there, the E3 and and CES, and they updated um, with the, the controllers. They had some on hand. Um, functional units, even though they weren't, they're not retail units, they're still, they're still functional, uh, able to demonstrate um, the, um, the unit. At this point in time, they've also, Atari is also, um, they have also confirmed that because the the unit is like a hybrid game console PC, that it is upgradable. Uh, they did uh, they uh, have an M2 slot to upgrade um, internal storage. So that's just a quick quick. Uh, we're gonna be at CES. Okay, so now we're into February fourth, twenty twenty. Uh, still still pre COVID. Um, for the most part, but, um, this is again, a factory, a factory visit, um, with, the I believe these are now the, the final, um, retail units, um, what that are being, that are being made. Uh, so there's the assembly line. You can see, um, the product being manufactured. So again, Another another cool update and a very um, in depth update. Okay, and then the the um, the last update that I want to give was um, from the manufacturing and hardware side of it is the um, June twenty fifth update. The first first pallet of Atari VCSs for consumer use, or I I think I think they were sending them out to developers and, and stuff like that um, were arriving. So we had fully functional. So June 25th was when the first batch of fully functioning units were delivered to California for them to be distributed to developers and, um, and anybody. I'm not sure who else. Uh, so it's the first batch of 500. And then they're planning on, which is what I showed in the previous, um, is more than 10,000 units. Um, but, okay, so that's it for the manufacturing side of it. So that's beginning to end, manufacturing. So now let's go into part two, games and software. All right, so now part two, we're going to look at the software and games that they have announced through the update. So we already know that the Atari VCS is going to run Linux. Um, we all we already know that the Atari VCS has a sandbox mode, which means that you can load a custom operating system or like Windows. Um, to it and it can function as a standalone computer. So what, where the Atari VCS falls flat for me 
is kind of everything else that they've announced. So that's what I want to go go through now. Okay, so this is one thing I want you to pay attention to. And I am I I've been open with my criticism of Atari uh, and how they've handled software and stuff. Um, I have been defensive of Atari when people are making a claim that it's a scam or a fake or a vaporware or, or whatever you want to call it, fake system as well. Um, but I do know that the shortcoming of the system, at least so far today, is going to be the software side of it. So I want you to take a look. So May 30th, 2018. Okay, so there's nothing down here but ads. Okay, let's see how far I have to go before we get to anything that has anything to do with games, which is what Atari VCS back in 1978-77, when it was released, was all about the games. September 30th, 2019 is when we get our first vlog entry and it's talking about Antstream and how Oh, your Atari is going to come preloaded with Antstream and you get a free month for free, but then you have to pay every month to play the games. So I guess it's like a Netflix for, for games. I've never tried Antstream. I have no intention of trying it until I get my VCS unit. Um, I mean, I'll take advantage of the free month. Um, but again, this is where... I'm, I'm kind of torn. So the, Okay, so the press release for Antstream, um, this is where I'm kind of torn on, okay, great, you have to pay money every month to play games. But I guess, I mean, PlayStation and Xbox have the same thing with Game Pass. And so I, I get it, but those are like AAA titles for the most part, as well as some, some indie games here and there. I mean, you're paying 10 bucks a month for Antstream to play um, retro games, which I don't know. I mean, I would have liked to have seen something original, but I mean, I guess it's better than nothing. The problem that I have with it is that that is the first news when it comes to games. So the first news for Atari when it comes to games are not their own games. It's a streaming service from somebody else. Okay, so then we have another update. Uh, so we're at December 17th, 2019, about how the Atari VCS is going to be compatible with Unity and how you can make your own games and stuff like that. So I'm not going to get into that into detail. It's um, just something that they had released that's software related. All right, so this was a update that was received earlier this year. Um, February 11th, and I'm not really quite sure what to make of it. I don't think even today that I'm even quite sure of what to make of it. So Atari acquired Wonder to do something. I'm not quite sure you can stream, uh, you can stream Atari games on a phone. Transform your Android smartphone into a portable next generation console that enhances the gameplay on any screen, including your TV. Uh, I mean, don't they already do that? I I don't understand what this is. I'll be honest with you, I don't understand what it is. So is it a wonder operating system and so uh, I don't know what this is. So I'm just going to leave it at that. So I guess now we're at July 1st, 2020, and we have our first announcement of like a real Atari game on an Atari system. So we have Missile Command Recharged, 
um, that's going to be coming to the VCS uh, fall of 2020. Um, so I imagine whenever the store, the Atari store launches, that's probably going to be um, part of the store launch. But there's some features of it and there's a trailer, which whatever. But so 20, so two years, two years after the fact, we get our first update of a real Atari game. And it's a remaster of an old Atari game. Yay. All right. Let's follow that up with another streaming service. So now we have Air Console added to the thing. So we're excited to add the Air Console app, whatever that is. So I don't know what Air Console is. I, like AntStream, I've never heard of them. Uh, so I'm not sure if these are just straight indie games or if there's any well-known games, but again, you have to pay money every month if you want to play games on the Atari VCS. It'll be available free month. <laughs> uh, all right. July again. Partnership with Game Jolt. Again, I've never heard of Game Jolt. So, I don't know what this is. It's one of the largest and fastest growing social community and game distribution platforms. Maybe you guys are getting excited for all this stuff, but I guess I'm like too... I don't want to say old school, but just not kept up with the times to know what any of this stuff is. So I guess this is a, this game jolt is an area where like independent developers can create their own games and then, and then, um, put, put them on here on sale here. So I don't see anywhere where I think that might actually be the case. So these games you can actually buy, um, because I don't see a monthly subscription anywhere, but it's just another it's another place to go for games on the Atari VCS that's not actually Atari. Okay, all right. So then, of course, the Atari is going to be compatible with like Netflix and Hulu and, and all that stupid crap. Um, but then now they have Plex, uh, which I think I've seen on my Roku. Um, I don't know. Again, it's not something I've heard a lot of. Um, but it's going to be an app that comes with the Atari VCS. I don't see anything about monthly fees or anything, but I'm pretty sure there probably is. Okay, so that is the very, very, very limited games and software section um that's part of the backer backer information um so then part three is going to be the uh shipping which all i'm going to show is a pallet of ataris ready to be shipped uh, i already went into great detail in my previous video so i'm not going to do it again um if there's anything that i missed Please put it down in the comments, especially if you're a backer. Uh, you're going to know if I missed something or not. But I thought that I had gotten through everything. Uh, I could have really gone into, into much greater detail um, with as much detail as the hardware uh, as Atari's been. But I think at this point in time, we know what it is. Um, it's just... The whole point was getting across just the the level of updates and care and I, I'll even say it, passion from the Atari team to get this thing created and out the door. Um, if there's w one argument I, I would make against the people that are that keep insisting that this is a scam, uh, a fake. Um, or, hey, look at this system. They said it was going to launch two. They sent two units to their people, and then it, it fell through the floor. They aren't Atari. And they 
I can guarantee you they didn't have the they weren't as thorough as this with their with their updates showing factory pictures showing schematics showing step by step everything they were doing from the point of conception to the point of production um so with that being said leave a comment um if you like what you see leave a comment if you don't we can debate whether the system is relevant in 2020 um but it's real and it's coming thanks for watching